my name is Namita Mehta and I'm the president of the Red Pen. Today I have with me Alex from Brighton College. Hello, lovely to be here. Thank you for coming, Alex. Pleasure. Why don't you first tell me a little bit about where you're located and the curriculum that your school offers? Great. So Brighton is on the south coast of England. Uh, the school's actually located about 100 metres from the seafront, uh, which is, is fantastic. We've got a lovely climate, uh, lots, of, lots of sunshine, sea breezes. It's a beautiful place. Water, uh, water sports or not really? We do, we do offer some, but actually the, the beach, I suppose, offers a, a place for, for pupils to go and, go and walk, to relax. So it's, um, it, yeah, it's a wonderful environment to be in. And it's a great city, Brighton. So it's about 300,000 people, which is a nice size, but not, not too big. Um, and we occupy one block of the city, uh, which means we have a very safe, secure campus, but in a, a beautiful city. So, uh, yeah, it's um, a bit different to Mumbai. I can see that, you know, somebody who loves the sea would love to come to Brighton. But what kind of a student would thrive at Brighton College? So... Unlike many other schools, we don't have a type, I don't think, at Brighton. Okay. There are many different types of people who would, would thrive. But what they do all share is academic ability. All of our pupils are bright. They're all motivated. Um, and they're all curious about the world around them and want, want to make a difference in, in some way or other. So we, we have an amazing pupil body. Um, but yeah, they're very, very different from all over the world, from different parts of the UK. Some are great at music, some are great at sports, some are, are academically brilliant, but not everyone. Everyone has their own skills to offer the community. So lots of diversity and it, it's a great group of students that kind of thrive together. Definitely. I've never worked in such a diverse school community, but that's, that's part of the excitement. That's fantastic. Will you please tell me a little bit about the curriculum that your school offers? Of course. So we offer quite a traditional British curriculum in the sense we offer GCSEs and A-levels in the sixth form. Um, and we think that is the, the best possible um, curriculum for pupils. I've, I've worked in IB schools before, and that, that does have advantages for some, but we feel actually that the choice that you have with A-level gives you um, the, the best possible chance of doing subjects you really love. And that's really the key to success. If you love what you're studying, and love what you're learning about, then, then you have the best possible chance of, of doing well. Uh, we also take lots of bits of uh, what's what we like about the IB, things like um, uh, we offer something called the Extended Project Qualification in sixth form, which is an essay, uh, and other things to do with critical thinking um, alongside our academic curriculum. But yeah, we think it, it works really well. I think so. I mean, the A-level is such an in-depth curriculum. And as you say, you choose those three or four subjects mm. and you kind of go in depth. Um, so, you know, the pre-use are, are also a curriculum that has been introduced in the UK. Does, mm. does Brighton College also offer some pre-use or is it just uh, A-levels? So we used to, but pre-use are actually now being phased out. So the current cohort is the last cohort of, of pre-use being offered in the UK. I think we, we only had a couple of subjects that were in pre before, so we've shifted those onto, onto A-level now. But um, we actually think that the new A-levels that started three or four years ago are, are as in-depth as the pre-use used to be and actually um, offer as good preparation for university. Yeah, that just makes things a lot less complicated. Yes, it's A-levels and that's it, right? Definitely, which, is, yeah. which is great. Okay, um, you know, of course, safety is a huge concern for international families. They're sending their children away so far. So can you tell me a little bit about the pastoral care at Brighton College? Absolutely. So we have a very house-based pastoral system. So we have 14 houses, um, including um, six boarding houses, um, and all but one of those are on site. So they're within our city block that just has two entrances, 24 hour security. Um, and those houses are, they're a home away from home. Uh, they're beautifully decked out. Most of them are in old uh, Victorian buildings. Some are in purpose built boarding houses. Um, but you have there living with you, um, what we call an HMM, a house master or mistress who lives with their family in the boarding house and another member of staff, their deputy. Um, and normally it's 60 to 70 children in each boarding house. And they love it. Uh, they, the children just absolutely love it. It's, um, it's obviously a risk that people have homesickness when they're coming from a long way away, but we find the vast majority of people, they lose that within, within a week or two. Definitely. I mean, I've um, I've had some boarding school experience and I think the house system is fantastic. You belong to a particular cohort of students and you have a house master, but then you're also part of a wider community and it's, it's a really good system. Yeah. And I think that, you know, pastoral care when in, in that kind of a setup is, is really effective. Yeah. 
So, so Alex, a lot of our families, you know, look at that boarding schools as a stepping stone to university. So university placements within the UK and internationally is really important to them. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the university placements at Brighton College, both in the UK and internationally? Absolutely. So I used to lead the sixth form at Brighton. Um, so lots of experience with this. And um, we have pupils going off to a huge range of different university destinations. Um, we are a big uh, feeder for Oxbridge. So we typically have um, around about 30 pupils a year who will go off to, to Oxbridge. We have a big uh, cohort going off to medical school. So very often 20 medics going off in a, in a year. Um, and then also to the US now as well, which mm. is a growing area of expertise for us. Um, we've had, I think, two pupils go off to, to Yale this year, Stanford, Harvard, NYU, lots of, lots of destinations. And we've got a fantastic team in the sixth form who prepare our pupils for those destinations. So uh, we have a dedicated head of US universities, dedicated head of Oxbridge, uh, head of Futures who looks at all of our UK applications and pretty much all of our pupils will go either to a Russell Group University in the UK or to Oxbridge or to a top US university. Wow, those are fantastic results. I mean, that, that's incredible. Thank you so much. So before we wrap up, can you please give one piece of advice to any prospective applicant looking at Brighton College? Absolutely. I think the one piece of advice is give it a go. Um, we have an amazing, amazing group of pupils who come and study at the school. Um, and if you are someone who is, is curious about your academics, wants to do well, wants to make a difference in whatever interests you have, then I think we can offer uh, a wonderful school experience for you um, at Brighton. And we'd love to meet you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you very much.